I told him to be home by dinner and gave him five bucks to go play basketball. And he took off. He called home asking for a ride, uh, which was probably, I don't know, he's within a couple of miles from his house. And uh, his mother works late and sleeps during the day. And uh, his older brother, Jason, uh, answered the phone. When I woke up, Jason was there and said that he had called and wanted to ride home, but Jason didn't want to wake me up. So he told me he had to walk home. And that's was the day, the last time we heard from him. You spend 24 hours crying, sick, worried. Um, then you get mad, then you get scared, and then you try to get empowered. You know, okay, what can we do? We have to do flyers, we'll do this, we'll, you know, so instead of, for you don't cry, you do something <clears throat> positive and try to work towards, I guess, the solution of, of finding him. I thought somebody offered him a ride and he got in the car. And I think he would have gotten a car with someone that he didn't know. I could see the, you know, the worry and the pain they were going through. So I always said, man, yeah, he's, he's out there, you know. He'll resurface, you know. Unfortunately for me, it was one of those places which is very rare in Spain.